Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today we are going with a new episode of an old series which I am bringing back to my channel. Um, today is going to be episode number one of our Road to Foot Champs Glory. Now some of you if you are still around and were here when I did this last FIFA you'll know that it was uh, basically on my main account with like the where I open packs and stuff I'd have one team and I would try to essentially get top 100 in foot champs now I took a break from mainly YouTube and also I completely stopped playing ultimate team for quite a few months uh, I've only recently started to get back into it uh, but just playing like the knockout tournament and seasons so I've got a decent little team up and running now and I wanted to bring this series back because I did enjoy it even though Foot Champions is very stressful at the moment. Uh, I see a lot of people moaning about it on Twitter and stuff about the game. But I think it'll be at the right time to uh, come back and try this again. Uh, just to see how far we can go at this stage of FIFA. Because it's kind of not coming towards the end but like it's, it's, it's kind of dying out a little bit. But I wanted to bring this to the channel to add something so I can have something to upload as well as my career mode content. And also my Chelsea kind of like podcast that I'm going to be bringing out uh, every so often. So this is going to be an introduction episode. Uh, as you can see here, I won the daily knockout tournament yesterday. Uh, as you can see here, uh, you got the Cars Fair card, which is very nice and 1,000 coins. Uh, that card go was straight into my bench uh, team. And also, as you can see here, uh, the typical foot champs thing. Now, normally when I used to play on my team... Uh, and foot champs I'd get in this section normally it'd be gold free and normally I would stop playing it gold free but I've gotten to gold 2 before and I've gotten near gold 1 so I reckon I could easily get up into this elite area and maybe probably not top 100 but you know what I mean uh, maybe if we can get like a full meta team uh, in the months ahead so that's what uh, I'm going to be doing today today I'm going to show you the team that I've currently got uh, I've been testing out with a few different players, as you can see, uh, my club's not stacked, but like the team is very nice, so I'll just run you through the team that I've got, so in goal I've got Courtois, uh, I paid 46,000 coins for him, I've only played 6 games with him, uh, not really not really much to say for Courtois so far, I haven't played enough games with him to tell you anything about him, uh, that's the wrong way, Valencia I haven't actually played with him yet, but I did have Inform Moses, who was the same price, near enough, literally like 15,250. But I didn't feel like Moses cut cut it for my team. Uh, I did enjoy using him, but I just feel like I needed a, a little bit more pace in the in the right back position. So we've gone for, with Valencia. I don't really know what he's like so far because I haven't used him yet, so I can't really say anything on him. Uh, moving over to Man of the Match Company now. I was quite sceptical because obviously you look at the pace and you're like, oh god, he's awful. But he's been a really, really good centre-back for me so far. Uh, the 86 defending and 85 physical really do uh, show. Uh, I paid 67,000 coins for him. He's played 18 games. He's got actually he's actually got a goal and an assist, which isn't too bad for a centre-back. Medium, medium work rates. He's actually very good, to be honest. And having someone like Eric Bailly next to him, who is very, very quick. Even though He's got 78 pace, which is very good for a centre-back, but... He is very, very quick, and the defending and physical help him out a lot. So I think uh, having him, which allows company to just, just defend instead of worrying about the pace because you have Bailly to cover, uh, I think it's a really, really good uh, option to use. Uh, my left back is Inform 84-rated Marcus Alonso. I've only just picked him up for six, game, uh, six games. Uh, one goal he scored, which is actually the winner in my daily knockout final, which is surprising enough. So... I uh, can't really say much about him yet, As same as like uh, Courtois, Valencia, I haven't played enough with him to know much or give you guys any insight on how good he is. 109k I paid for him, it's quite a lot for a left back, but uh, I had Danny Rose, he wasn't really doing the same as Moses, he wasn't really cutting it for me, so I decided to upgrade. Uh, I think, give me another 6 or so games to find out if Alonso is worth it. The next one is Gundogan, uh, I paid 69k for him. Same as Courtois, only six games. I don't really have enough knowledge of him yet. I, I decided to get his uh, Path to Glory card because it makes the team look a bit nicer. And I think his normal card for me when I've used him in previous like uh, squads has been good. 
Uh, I think I just need a bit more time to understand and know how good he will be. Moving on, we've got Bakioka's Path to Glory card as well. Uh, 45k I paid for him. I bought this card simply because it looks nice, honestly. I know it's just his normal rated card. I could have saved myself like 44k, but it just looks nice. Uh, everyone knows how good Bakioka is in the game. Even though I've played six games, I know how good he is already, and he's proven it in, uh, in the games uh, that I have played with him. Moving on, we've got Chamberlain's Inform, 83 rated card. I, I don't know why, I looked at him and I thought, you know what, he does look like a decent card. Because if you think of my team, I've got Bakioka who's a holding centre defensive mid, or centre mid I guess. But he's in the middle, he's more of a defensive one. Gundogan's got decent defending and physical stats compared to Chamberlain's stats. So having that attack and centre mid does help us, because obviously I have the uh, strong Bakioko defensive minded uh, centre mid. So having like an attacking one kind of makes it all right, uh, which is which is why I've gone with Chamberlain just to try him out. He's fairly fairly cheap. So moving on to one of the big boys in the team, uh, Path to Glory card Willian. I actually packed Willian last night this card and sold on the first owner for like 205k. I'm so happy I did that because his price has dropped to like 180k because uh, obviously everything's gonna be coming out tonight. So. Uh, he's actually played very, very well for me. 17 games, 21 goals, 9 assists. 4 star, 4 star, high, high. 90 pace, 89 dribbling. This card is unbelievable. I think this card will be in my team or at least on the bench for the rest of FIFA. I really, really enjoy using this card. I think he's great. Moving on, one of the best cards I've used in FIFA for me, obviously, because I don't have enough coins and stuff for meta players. But... Um, Mane's player of the month card even though he's 87 rated he is still a very very big impact in the games I've played obviously I've played 139 games 151 goals 84 assists but that's over like from near the start of FIFA when did I when did he uh when did he get in does it show oh I thought it showed when when you uh bought him oh well um yeah okay well anyway moving on great cards uh when you cut inside and finesse with Mane it really really is like one of the best ways I score goals and I, f I think he's a really good card so moving on another first owner path to glory card I've, I've seen to pack quite a lot of these cards to be fair uh, in the uh, recent few days uh, they're kind of easy to pack then obviously because most of them are low rated they're just their basic card but Vardy has played 18 games 23 goals 19 assists he's very very good I really enjoy Vardy I really hope he does get an inform in the upcoming weeks because uh, I think his card would be insane I really do enjoy using him as a striker obviously uh, high high work rates you can really tell that in game but yeah guys that is the team for now I don't think I'll be making any changes before the weekend league which is tomorrow this video will be uploaded Thursday night as I'm recording it so it'll be uploaded then and then I think I'll leave it for till uh, the weekend maybe for some to show games because I'm not what I did last time is which which uh, ruined my like series was I recorded every single game I played and like it ruined me I think what I'm gonna do is record maybe record every game and then delete the ones which weren't as good and I'll only show like maybe 20 get like this first like five games the last five games and then like 10 in the middle shot so i have like 20 games overall over this over the weekend it's just so i'm not uh overcrowding like episodes out because mainly these these episodes will be coming either on a a thursday when rewards will be out on a friday maybe I'd probably say a Sunday and then I can move it over into the week which you can mix in with my other stuff that I have planned for the channel. So just before I go, uh, I packed this Bernardo Silver card. I've used two games. He, he did alright. He hasn't really done much. Um, he was one of the centre-backs that I bought to have sat on my bench if I need to make a defensive change. Veya, obviously I've just got him through the daily knockout tournament. Dembele was originally in my team. He's a very good player but I just wanted to upgrade him. Uh, Martial I got in one of the untradeable SBCs when he comes on he does very well for me Goretzka is another one who comes on uh, maybe 60 70th minute who I think really really is a good great player in an uh, in ultimate team Jinyak he's just there because if you're from my stream uh, you'll know that he's our channel icon so I bought his inform on stream and I've kept him in my club ever since and then there's just a couple of other players these three were in my starting lineup but now obviously I've upgraded so 
that is going to be the end of the video guys if you did enjoy please leave a like on the video comment your thoughts on the series down below if you've got me any ideas if you want me to include uh, other things in this series like SBCs, packs that I open I think everything that I do on this account apart from like seasons because that's just boring to watch I think I will upload it like say like promo packs come out and I decide to open packs to help improve the team I'll probably just open and record them uh, other than that guys don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode